Hi everybody, this is Dominique. She's a gerbil and she's about five months old. I got her when she was 12 weeks. She lives with her sister, Tiny, who is like a gingery colour. Um, I'll introduce you to Tiny in another video. She's a lot more lively, so I have to be careful when I get Tiny out. But Dominique is part of the rodent family. People sometimes say that she looks like a mouse, but a mouse has a bald tail. So it would be pink and fleshy, whereas Dominique has got fur. It's all fur lined and you can see the little white tip there. So gerbils do have actual fur on their tail. And also, if you look at Dominique's ears, they're really small and cute. And mice have much bigger ears. And also, if you look at her back legs, just there, uh, gerbils will stand up on the back legs and they will dig with the back legs. They've got long, powerful back legs there, you can see them. So that's the main difference, but they are part of the rodent family, along with guinea pigs and hamsters and rats and yes, of course, mice. Now, she absolutely loves to be stroked like this. I think she feels like she's being massaged. So she likes this, quite firm, and then she likes this on her ears, like a little, oh look, oh, a little massage, Dominique. Do you like your massage? She loves it. So normally, our routine, after I've had my evening meal, Dominique usually wakes up about eight o'clock. I have my dinner at seven, and then I tidy up. By then, Dominique's awake, so I get her out of the cage, and I put her in her exercise ball, which you'll have seen in lots of other videos. And as she's running around the kitchen, I'll clean her cage out, put some fresh water, fresh food in there for her, and then once she's had a run around in her ball, I get her out and we have some special time together bonding and I stroke her and I pet her and I let her run around on my hands. And you know what? It's a lovely way for me to end the evening because it really de-stresses me. So anybody that struggles with stress or anxiety or even low mood, you know, if it's a day when I've just felt a bit miserable or a bit fed up, I just have my evening meal and then I get Dominique out and Tiny and I tell you what, just, just stroking her like this for even 10 minutes and I just feel, I don't know, I just feel just relaxed and calm and happy. She just has some sort of therapeutic powers, I think. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend um, gerbils as a pet. I think they're great for children as well. I've got three children and... Um, they've been great you know the gerbils have been great with the kids they've never really nipped they've nibbled when I first got them they were only like three months old 12 weeks old when I got them I would recommend if you're going to get gerbils try and get baby ones if you can um they, they can last about two or three years I believe but if you get a baby one it'll be easy for you to tame it uh I, I believe that the big ones can bite and they can give you a nasty bite they have got really sharp teeth really really sharp teeth and powerful teeth so um I would just say get baby ones and handle them, you know, as soon as possible. Once they're settled in your cage at home with you for a day or so, just handle them as much as you can. And now she's used to, about eight o'clock, she knows when she wakes up, I'll, I'll go up to her cage and I'll say, come on, Dominique, come on then. And uh, she just comes to the door like that. And then I put my hand out and she just, she just comes out on my hand. There. Ooh. <laughs> there you go, Dominique. Oh, she's, she's livening up a bit now again after her massage, she, she chills out when I massage her, like that. And then once I stop, there you go. <laughs> once I stop, she starts getting active again. You can probably hear the exercise ball in the background because Tiny's in it, so they take it in turns. So while she's in the exercise ball, I'll play with Tiny. And then, uh, and then while Tiny's in the exercise ball, I'll, uh, I'll give her some attention. Uh -uh, leave the gerbil. 